Oh, here we go. Got one, Jason. There we go. Yeah, let's do better run. <laughs> there we go. That's a nice one. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, this video, starting off a little different scenery. We have made the, I believe, 16 hours road trip for me from Wisconsin all the way to Montana. Today is day one. We are out here with the boys out on Fort Peck. We did come out here last year in February for the very first time and did some laker fishing that is what this place is known for and yeah we it had some ups it had some downs um, but overall we're back so it must have been good enough to make the trip back but if i go ahead turn the camera around here show you guys who i am all with to start off we got the man john layman hello everyone how are you Welcome. feeling i'm feeling tired honestly dustin and i are the ones that drove from uh where we started to here so I'm feeling it a little bit, but day one, vibes are high and looking forward to start fishing. We pan to the right. We have the other half of the Mindak, Sam Lehman. Hi. Slay Daddy, how's it going? Good. You Started ever catch off a the Laker? No, I've never caught one before. Probably won't ever catch one either. And no. I also chipped my tooth like last night when we were packing stuff. So that's ideal. And I don't even have my rod rigged up either. Buddy, you got a ways to go here. You want to tie it for me? No. Walk over here. We got, introduce yourself. Y'all have never seen me before. I'm, I'm that smack em dude with Deusdorf over there. There is the other half of the smack em. Yeah. Well, like three quarters of whatever. Three, yeah, Carter, he's out in Oklahoma. He's guiding, but this is my first time lake trout fishing. I think you were out here last year with Dustin. Oh yeah. Yeah, so see what the hype's about. And then if we pan, we got Mr. Positive Lake Trout Master hey guys. Sims out. Not sure guy. if you remember me, but I love Fort Peck so much, and I'm so glad to be back here. Uh, hopefully Jacob we can catch Sweary. a Fort Peck Laker today, huh? Jacob Sweary over here, and he is uh, ready to rock and roll. Got the mini bike behind him. Do you want me to see, you want me to show you how I catch one? So I can show you quick if you want. So basically what we're doing uh, is catching our Sims gloves, getting this untangled from our frostbite rod, and then we're gonna drop this jig down the hole, okay? Got the live scope. Are you able to see yourself? Oh yeah. Wow, look at that. Clear as day. Got the brand new 34 deucer on there. I That's can tell. Right. Big flex over here. Yeah. But yes, we are Laker fishing. Swery's already at them. It is going to be a grind. Uh, last year when we did this, uh, we found that out real early that you are staring at a screen for hours and hours and hours, and you got to be ready because even the smallest little flicker. Uh, you got to be ready for it, interact with the fish, otherwise they're gone. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go some of the holes that are already drilled out, get my rod, get the flasher, and see if we can get hooked up. All right, you guys. Get into the first hole here. I'm going to be using my Markham flasher. I'll show you guys kind of what's going on here once I get this in the water. So start off the day, I got this on. We are in 55 feet of water. And what I'm going to be starting the day off is my frostbite, Mr. Big. And this is the bait I caught a lot of fish on last year. It is just a chartreuse jig with a one ounce weight on there. And basically, I drop this bad boy down. Got super long fluorocarbon leaders because this water is super clear. And you're just going to work a lot of water. Never stop jigging because if you're not jigging, when there's a fish on your screen, they're gonna lose interest right away. So work a lot of the water column. And as soon as you mark them, just start reeling up, make them chase, and hopefully get them to bite. So I'm gonna be staring at this mark them for who knows how long, but they are already marking some fish. Dustin's dad um, missed one just about five minutes ago. So hopefully, I don't know, won't be too long. and people are going to start getting fish through and getting hooked up so we're going to just stare at the screen and see what happens oh here we go got one chasing there we go that oh, feels okay hit it pretty hard 
That one came off bottom and hit it 20 feet under the ice. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, let's do that around. Does not want to come off the hole very easily. <laughs> Collins at the bottom of the hole for like forever. Three minutes. Like right here. He's got it pretty good in his mouth though. Yeah, he hit it pretty hard. Jeez. Yeah, he's just toying. His head's right there if he turns up. There we go. That's a nice one. Man, first one of the day. And he just crushed that jig. Here's your fish, man. Nice one. Thank you. Alright guys, well decided to get the big lens out. Dustin's recording for me, but my first Laker of the trip. Definitely did not take as long as last year. Last year, I think, uh, it took us like two and a half days for me to actually get hooked up. So <laughs> some would say, I think we're learning how to catch these fish, but not gonna measure, not a super fat fish, but definitely a nice one. A good one to start. Definitely a good one to start. A rush seeing it chase like 40 feet up before it actually hit. Man, that's definitely why we come out here. Oh, that was not a very graceful release, but <laughs> they're super slimy. He's gone. Yeah, I was excited. I'm going to get back down there. My hands are a little cold, but it's a good way to start the trip. Well, that was freaking exciting. First fish of the day, and it took me about 30 minutes. I did mark a couple previously um, that chased it, but did not commit. That one definitely did commit. You guys can see with that last catch, again, I'm using the Mr. Big from Frostbite. If you guys are in the market for anything to do with lake trout fishing definitely would recommend checking out frostbite they have pretty much everything you would possibly need for lake trout fishing they have multiple different models of rods this is personally just my favorite um it's kind of like an all-around where you can use some bigger stuff but also get away with some smaller but yet it's not super stiff to where you're still getting a good fight out of it so if you guys are interested in anything frostbite i will have a link down in the description but I'm gonna continue jigging here and see if I can get another one to chase. Right now, like I said earlier, I'm in about 52 feet of water and most of the fish that I've seen so far have come about five feet off the bottom and then they have been chasing. Um, some haven't committed, but that one did, so we're on the right trend. Just gotta keep staring at the screen and hopefully another one is hungry. Oh, I'm marking. Marking. Oh God. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Oh, did he nip it? He's mad. He's mad. He's mad. Oh, I had him. That was like right under the ice, dude. Oh my God. He's there. He's there. Oh, oh. oh, this fish is pissed. Dude, this thing is like yeah. two feet under the ice. I can't even, dude, can you see him down there? Oh my God. You see him? Yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> He's going to eat it. He's going to eat it again. <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> dude, this thing is freaking on steroids. Oh, I see, yeah, I see him swimming around there, dude, like right there. Oh my god, oh, he's oh, back oh, again. Dude, dude. <laughs> what was that? He's mad, dude. Oh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> what was that? I missed that fish four times. That was funny to watch. It's hard to tell how big they are when you look under the ice, you know, because it's under the water. But Yeah. Oh my god. Well, little time update for you guys. We are currently 
packing up spot number one we landed six fish as a group um, I'm not gonna mention who didn't catch one but he just happens to be one of the guys from Mindek and happens to be taller than the other one um, but yeah otherwise we've caught six fish and we are going to pack up try a different spot here not that there aren't fish around the area uh, we've definitely had marks but we just want to go check out we got all day it's beautiful out here no wind so check out spot number two and hopefully we can catch one bigger than before correct it'll be hard to beat my 12 incher that i caught but yeah so we did catch a giant but yes spot number two hopefully it's better than spot number one Well, you guys, as you can see, it is now midday, sun is out, it is gorgeous out. Um, well, we didn't actually, well, you're not seeing spot number two right now. This is more like spot number 50. Um, ever since I caught that first fish this morning, it has been a serious struggle for me. Um, we have caught fish, I think we're up to like 10 or 11 as a group. Um, so we're not doing terrible, uh, just me personally have not really seen much action since that very first fish. But we're at another spot and as you can tell from the previous clip of how we got to this, it's very important that you guys have uh, wooden planks with you while you're coming out to Fort Peck because uh, there are a bunch of ice heaves like all over the lake randomly so you got to be careful while going around. Um, so important to have enough guys, be safe and have the planks out there but we're at spot like i said number like 50. uh we believe this is going to be a good one it is pretty much uh main lake like there are a bunch of fingerlings that come off i'll overlay uh the actual depths charts here so you guys can see kind of what i'm talking about to what we locate while you're out here on such a big body of water going for these lake trout and we are by no means professionals uh, we are just learning this as we go here but this is kind of what we're looking for and hopefully there's going to be fish we got a bunch of guys already drilling holes so i'm going to go ahead and get the flasher get the rod and hopefully get hooked up real soon There we go. Ah, uh, it doesn't feel too big. No, uh, just a little guy. Just a little one. Well, second fish of the day for me. Not a very big laker at all. It's actually the smallest one I've ever caught out here. But it's a good sign that there are fish in the area, which is great considering we were getting a little nervous considering nobody caught anything until this one came and showed itself. Got one chasing. This one is screaming up at it. Come on. Oh my God. Just missed them. 10 feet under the ice. What a tragedy. Well, that is gonna wrap up this spot. Had that one smaller one, and then I lost that one about 10 feet under the ice that hit, and I just swung and missed. I think right now, sun's starting to go down and we definitely want to get out off the water appropriate time because you don't want to be out here after dark with all the different ice heaves and all that. So we're going to go ahead and start packing everything up, and start heading back. I do believe we might, if we have time, hit that very first spot of the day just because it is on our way back and 
Yeah, it, it all depends though. If we get there and it's too dark, we're just gonna head it off the lake and I'll go home and show you guys like our setup, Airbnb and everything that we got going on for the rest of the week because we are gonna be staying here for the next five days. But I'm gonna go ahead, go by the other guys, get on the ATV and we're gonna go see if we can hit that first one. Well, took a pit stop, Sweary and Dustin went on a little adventure. Man, look at that fatty that they just caught. Alrighty, you guys, as you can see, I am currently editing today's video that you just watched right now. And in the process of editing, I realized I did not film anything else the rest of the day. I did not show the Airbnb tour or anything like that. I just completely blanked it. And mainly that is because um, we were up for like 30, 40 hours. I think John was up for over 40 hours um, between the day before driving, doing all the preparation. And then we fished for like 12 hours straight from morning all the way to sunset. So we were extremely exhausted, but if you guys do want to see the house tour that we stayed at for this Montana series, go over to John and Sam's channel, Mindac Outdoors. I'll put something up in the corner here or down in the description if you guys want to go check out that video so you can see where we stayed for the entire trip. I do have two more videos that will be coming out from Fort Peck, Montana. This is the very first one, day one. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I only caught two Lakers. It was tough, but I will say by the end of the series I did figure out what I was doing and did some pretty cool stuff So you guys will have to stay tuned like I said two more Montana videos coming out after this one day one If you guys enjoyed the Laker content and want to see more Laker content Let me know down in the comment section because I do know a few lakes um, around my area that do have lake trout in them so if this is something you guys want to see more of locally um, in Wisconsin let me know down in the comment section below because I would love to do it it is an addiction it is so fun it is a grind but it is super fun so if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure give it a like leave a comment down below what you thought stay tuned for the other two episodes and I will catch you guys on the next one tight lines from NB edits